Hello and welcome back to PHP Basics. My name is Sean. Today I have a simple but effective lesson for you. Now if you've ever found the need to convert a date range into a more user-friendly format, you may have found that there's really no easy method inside of PHP to do that. Uh, and, what, and this is what I mean by that. Uh, let's say we have a date range and I'm just going to pick a random date range. I find myself often looking for a way to uh, convert a user-friendly date range and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Okay, So inside of PHP let's just go ahead and create our form first with uh, these two date ranges and what I'll do is I will go ahead and wipe this out and the form will be very simple. Uh, the method is going to equal the post and we're just going to say date range and we'll create an input type of date and we'll just give this the name of start date and we'll copy that and we'll do the same thing for the end date and then we'll jump down a couple lines and we're just going to create a submit button and we'll just call this date submit. Okay, so now if I refresh the page, this is what we've got. Same thing I had before. Okay, so in PHP, the first thing that I usually do is create an output variable. And for now, this isn't going to equal anything. But what we'll do is we'll display that at the bottom of the page. So echo output that way any of the data that we show is going to show below the form and not on top of it. That's essentially what that means. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do is check to see that the form has been submitted. So if is set the post value of date submit and if that's true then we'll go ahead and get the form data and we'll just say SD for start date equals the post value of start date and ed will equal the post value of end date okay so now we're going to introduce something a little different uh, we're going, going to talk about the date time uh, class extension within PHP and to do this we'll essentially just do I'll say um, start date equals a new date time of SD. Alright, so that's really just initiating a new instance of the date time class and we're just calling it start date. And we'll do the same thing with the end date. Okay, so date time has different properties. Uh, we can use these properties to calculate the difference between the two dates, to format the two dates, uh, to tell it whether we want to use years, months, days, all the way down to microseconds if we want. So the first thing that we need to do is calculate the difference between these two dates. All right. So what I'll do is I'll just create a new variable called uh, diff for difference. And that's going to equal start date. and then we'll call the difference property of the end date okay so essentially it's saying what's the difference between the start date and the end date and that's going to put that into uh, a form for us alright so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and comment down here we'll just say this returns the difference between two dates well we'll say date time objects okay and now our output is simply going to equal the difference in which format that we want. So this is the part where we actually format the text and we'll use the format property. And what I'll say is um, years, months, and days. 
Now you can look up the PHP manual for date time to find out the different types of options that you have for the format property. But for now we're just going to keep it simple since most of the time that's really all we're interested in are years, months, and days. Like I said before, you can use um, you know hours, seconds, all the way down to microseconds if we want. All right. So what I'll do, can, providing that I haven't made any mistakes, is go ahead and refresh the page so we have a syntax error. That's always beautiful. Left out my single quote. All right, so let's go ahead and select some date ranges here. Let's go back to 2008, January 15th. And then we'll just choose today's date. We can see that that's been nine years, six months, and four days. So very simple but effective uh, method of calculating the difference between two dates. Pretty simple. Um, I'll go ahead and stick the source code for this in the description. And if you guys have any questions, as always, feel free to ask me and I'll try to help. And I'll see you guys on the next one.